Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to What's New with Hegarty 2022. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your very busy schedules to join us for a little while this afternoon. We are really excited to be able to share the updates and the revisions with the world and with all of you as you plan for your classroom instruction for each school for the next school year. It's been fun in the Q&A uh, toolbar of Zoom to hear a little bit about where some of you are from. So thank you for joining us from Australia and from across the United States. And I hope that you gain some new understanding about the updates and revisions that have been made um, to the Hegarty curriculum and will be available within the United States in June. For our Australian friends, uh, we do print the curriculum as an Australian version within Australia, and we plan to have your updated versions available by the end of 2022, so more fall or winter, in preparation for your 2023 school year. I know many of you are familiar with Hegarty.org, our website, where you went to register for this webinar, but that is a place where you'll find a lot of resources for the 2022 revisions. And I'm going to be sharing just some different tools and resources that we have prepared for you in order to have these conversations in your district and to know the changes that are being made. So just to start, uh, my name is Alisa Van Hecken, and I serve as the Chief Academic Officer here at Hegarty. I have a couple of my colleagues on as panelists today, and they are handling some of your questions. I have Marjorie Botari. You might know her from the pre-K and kindergarten videos. My colleague, Erica Suarez, who's our dual language literacy specialist and our director of marketing, Megan Colburn. So they are going to be answering some questions throughout. And at the end, I'm going to be able to answer some of those questions live. This webinar is being recorded. So if you have colleagues or friends who weren't able to attend live today, there will be access to this recording so this information can be shared with them. So just to get started in terms of what was revised for this 2022 revision, we revised all three levels of our English curriculum, pre-K, our purple book, our English kindergarten for our blue book, as well as our primary curriculum for first and second grade classrooms. We released an early pre-K curriculum last summer, and that is staying the same as well as bridge the gap. Our Spanish curricula is that has been recently revised as our Spanish kindergarten. That is actually already available in print. And in June, our Spanish primary curriculum, that green book, um, our updated versions will be released. Just last year, our orange book, our Spanish pre-K curriculum was updated and that's staying the same. You can view sample lesson plans from our current 2020 editions, as well as sample lesson plans for most of our 2022 editions on our website if you go to hegarty.org. We do not yet have printable sample lesson plans of our primary lessons, but we plan to have those available um, in early April. Now, as we were preparing for this launch of the Hegarty 2022, we wanted to provide you with really easy to use resources. So one of the materials that we created as a team was a crosswalk of the Hegarty curricula for from 2020 to 2022 for each level. And you can see how the changes were made throughout each individual skill, including the eight phonological awareness skills, as well as our early literacy skills. So you'll see this side-by-side -side comparison. These can be printed, they can be shared with colleagues. You can take a look at your current version of the curriculum and be able to see what updates and changes were made uh, for this new release. So as I mentioned on our website, we have a lot of printable resources, including sample lesson plans and those crosswalks. But I just wanna spend a few minutes talking through what changed. I know there's come some concerns and questions on can I still use my current 2020 curriculum? And yes, you absolutely still can. We still wholeheartedly stand behind the 2020 lessons. We believe it's a powerful tool and resource for your instruction around foundational skills. And it is a resource that can continue to be used as part of your classroom instruction. We are preparing as a team a kind of high level overview of some of those shifts or changes that were made in the 2022 revisions that you might be able to use as a guide or tool to adapt your 2020 version of the curriculum. And that will be available as a download um, around May or early June. But let's talk a little bit about what changed. So when we see the 2022 lessons and when you see those lesson plans, you're going to notice a new format. You had a chance to look at our early pre-K lesson plans. We worked with a curriculum designer to reformat the layout of the lessons. We also adjusted the number of words that were used within the lessons to allow for a shorter amount of your instructional time. We know your days are full. 
and busy. And so where it was 10 to 12 minutes of instruction, it now will be closer eight to 12 minutes. And so using fewer words allows us to still practice each of those phonological and phonemic awareness skills, but we're just using fewer words within each of the lessons. We've also shortened the scope and sequence for our primary curriculum to 24 weeks rather than 35. We offer 24 weeks of tier one instruction in that yellow book with an optional six weeks of additional intervention lessons. Our pre-K and our kindergarten curriculum are still 35 weeks of lessons. You can view a scope and sequence sample for each level of our curriculum. And you'll see here with our primary scope and sequence where we have shortened that up to those 24 weeks, reduced those last six weeks for optional intervention use. And you can find a scope and sequence for our pre-K as well as our kindergarten curriculum and our Spanish revisions as well. And thinking about this reduced number of words and shorter instructional time, we also revised the sequence of our skills. We know that some of these earlier or easier skills like developing an understanding of rhyme or onset fluency, which we renamed as initial phoneme isolation, are skills and activities that our students often do become automatic and proficient with during both kindergarten as well as first grade. So in our primary lessons, we did bring in rhyme and initial phoneme isolation for just the first nine weeks, giving students an opportunity to isolate that first sound in a word or learn about rhyme recognition and production, but it does not stay in every single lesson for the entire 24 weeks of the primary curriculum. Also for our kindergartners, we know that some of our kindergartners come to us at the very early stages of reading development and are perhaps new to rhyme. We still have opportunities to develop an understanding of what rhyming words are through 17 weeks of rhyme instruction, as well as working with 21 weeks for initial phoneme isolation. But these are skills and tasks that our students can become automatic with. So we did, after 17 or 21 weeks, pull them out as part of our instruction so that we can spend the lessons focusing on those more complex skills like blending, segmenting, as well as manipulation. We also were able to get to the phoneme level a little bit sooner. As we think about the progression of our instruction in our 2020 versions of the curriculum, we were working with blending and segmenting phonemes by week eight in primary, week 13 in kindergarten. And we wanted to provide teachers with opportunities to get to that phoneme level a little bit sooner. So as we work and work within our primary lessons, we're working at the phoneme level by week three with blending, segmenting, and manipulation, and it's by week 11 in kindergarten. We know as we think about these stages of phonological awareness, these levels of how we develop phonological awareness, that these first three levels of word to syllable to intrasyllable, working with onset rhyme and body coda, these do develop phonological sensitivity for our youngest learners. These are crucial for our early pre-K and our preschoolers and even our in early in kindergarten. But that phoneme level is a sophisticated level of phonological awareness. We want our students to have opportunities to hear individual sounds and spoken words. We know how important this phoneme level is for our students as they transfer this to decoding when they read and encoding when they write and spell. You will see a progression from learning to blend and segment words into compound words, syllables and that intrasyllable level in both pre-K as well as kindergarten. One edit to our purple book for pre-K is that we now offer these in consecutive weeks. So weeks one through six, we're working at the word level, then moving into syllable with our preschoolers, moving from those larger units of language to individual sounds, getting to that phoneme level by week 19. As we provide this instruction, our goal through each and every lesson, whether using the 2020 or the 2022, is to help our students understand about the internal structure of our words, how our language works and how we can apply this knowledge to opportunities for both reading as well as writing. Also within our new lesson plan, we wanted to add increased teacher support. Now my, professional, my team for professional development loves to work with teachers at the district level, at the school level, at the county level, helping and equipping teachers to use the materials. We know not every teacher has the opportunity to attend a live professional development with one of our literacy specialists. So we wanted to build in some more teacher support for teachers who are using the curriculum perhaps on their own for the very first time. We did this with a couple of different additions. One is with increased direct teacher language, providing a skill focus helping us to define for our learners, what are we doing with this lesson? 
when working with rhyme, helping students know when words rhyme, we hear the same middle and final sound, shaping for students their understanding of what rhyming words are before we jump into the words for the lesson. We even brought in more direct teacher language for our teacher direction, saying something like when we spell words, we listen for each sound. We will segment or separate these words into the sounds we hear. That's how we set up segmenting, giving our students these opportunities to understand why am I blending, segmenting, isolating, manipulating with these phonemes or sounds within spoken words. As we think about what this looks like within our lesson plans, you'll see those more straightforward teacher language in that teacher direction box, along with the skill focus aligned with each and every skill. And again, you can see this in those sample lesson plans that we have available. We also are bringing in QR codes each week that will connect you as the teacher to teacher videos that will explain transitions or new activities. We also have built in overview pages that helps you know when something is going to shift or change in the curriculum, especially as we move systematically from phonological to phonemic awareness. We're also excited to be able to add a weekly lesson demonstration video. You will have free access to a Monday video where you can see what the lesson looks like. It will be taught to the screen like it was being, we were teaching within a classroom. This can be used for you as the teacher to know what the lesson should look and sound like. It can even be shown directly to your students as part of that instruction. One more addition that we made in the 2020 edition is these opportunities for making phoneme graphing connections. While the majority of our instruction has always focused on phonological and phonemic awareness, we've always included two additional early literacy skills. One was to develop alphabet knowledge because we know that is such a crucial beginning step to being a reader and the other is language awareness. Alongside alphabet knowledge, we've brought in these opportunities to connect phonemes to graphemes, sounds to letters. And as we bring this in as part of our instruction, we are connecting this to words that we heard aloud within the lessons, giving students opportunities to hear the sounds first. We hear three sounds in the word bus. B uh, we can chop or count those sounds or finger tap that word into individual sounds during our phonemic awareness lesson. And then at the end, similar to where alphabet knowledge currently is within our lesson plans, we can connect the phonemes we heard in the word bus to the graphemes or letters that represent those sounds with options for making these connections to print. This is something that would come after those happen, those activities happened oral in an oral and auditory way, and then being able to show that immediate connection. This allows students to see the relationship of the sounds or the phonemes we hear through the air to the letters or the graphemes that we would see in print. This is our ultimate goal for our learners, is that they see this as this bridge, how we can use some of the words we heard out loud through the lessons, thinking about words we heard for phoneme isolation. We start with just identifying the grapheme or the letter that matches the initial sound we heard in some of our words, or how can we see the letters that we, we blended into a spoken word or see the letters that we segmented a word into sounds. This can be something that the teacher leads using something like a dry erase board or magnetic letters or tiles to be able to match those phonemes to graphemes. This would not replace our phonics instruction, but rather demonstrates our students how we can apply the sounds we hear to words that we read and write in print. I have included a quick screenshot from our kindergarten 2022 lessons where it shows what this will look like when we are working in some of our later weeks this is from week 28, where students are working with four phoneme words, words with consonant blends, focusing on a specific BR blend like we see in that first lesson, identifying three words where we would count the number of sounds and then be able to match graphemes or letters to each of those sounds. Teachers can also bring this in with words that they're using for their own phonics instruction. We always think of the Hegarty phonemic awareness as lessons as an oral warm up to our phonics instruction, and that still holds true. This phoneme graphing connection just gives this opportunity to make this more explicit for our students, showing this immediate connection for the sounds we hear in our lessons to the words or the letters we would see in print. As we think about providing more support for teachers, our print versions of the curriculum is where you'll see a lot of these updates and changes, but these updates and changes are also being pulled into our digital offerings as well. Something that is shifting and changing for next year or starting in June is our My Hegarty platform. 
Our My Hegarty platform is changing in price to $89 per year. If you currently are a My Hegarty subscriber, you will automatically, without paying anything, be upgraded to these new tools and resources in June when they become available. So you will get a chance to access these tools and resources even before it's up to time for you to renew, which is a great way for you to experience the 2020 revisions, 2022 revisions. Because while this year on my Hegarty platform was grade level specific and include lesson videos, as well as on-demand professional development and digital assessments, our new My Hegarty platform is going to have the digital curriculum included. This means you will have digital access to the actual lesson plans that match your print version, however they're in digital format. And in the My Hegarty platform, we will support both the 2020 digital curriculum as well as lesson videos, as well as the 2022 edition. So if you want to see them before you purchase a print, print book for 2022, you will have digital access to those 2022 lesson plans. And Marjorie and myself plan to re-record videos to match these new 2022 lessons as well. Also, My Hegarty will no longer be one grade level specific. Now, your one My Hegarty subscription will give you access to our early pre-K and primary extension curriculum. Our early pre-K is for three and four-year-old classrooms. Primary extension is for third through fifth grade as well as our pre-K pre curriculum, our purple book, our kindergarten curriculum, and our primary curriculum. And you will have access to both English as well as Spanish curriculum manuals. This means that even if you are only teaching first grade, you will still have access to additional versions of the curriculum, as well as those videos to support. We will be creating videos for our primary extension curriculum that will be included within this My Hegarty resource. We are really excited to be able to allow our current My Hegarty subscribers the opportunity to experience this. Because in June, when the platform is updated, your current account will see these updates as well. So again, you'll get a chance to see what these lessons look like, maybe even try them out in summer school or view some of the lesson videos. But we do plan to continue to support the 2020 versions as well as 2022 with the NetMyHegarty platform. So you can still have those lesson videos as well as the on-demand PD. Or if you wanted to use that digital version of the curriculum for 2022, you would have those same levels of support with on-demand PD for that curriculum specifically, as well as our lesson videos. You can see a little bit more about My Hegarty on our website. I know one of the questions that we saw was, you know, what does this platform look like? And you can see more about that on our website. Aside from the digital curriculum and the lesson videos, as I mentioned, it also includes an on-demand professional development, giving you a chance to have a quick start to what does this lesson, what do the lessons look and sound like, along with access to hand motion videos, as well as some quick teacher tutorial videos. You also have access, access to digital assessments. These digital assessments match our print version of the assessments we have available on our website, but we have opportunities for grouping and scoring and being able to really track students' progress throughout the school year. The My Hegarty platform also will continue to have ebooks for our decodable readers, the Frog series, as well as the Toucan series. Now, some of you might be wondering or came to this webinar today wondering, well, why did you make these changes? What made you decide to change the curriculum um, for this upcoming school year? One is teacher feedback and our own experience with teaching the lesson. We know that you have a lot of expectations within your day. And so reducing the number of words and shifting the spoken sequence to allow students to get to that phoneme level a little bit sooner, to really meet their individual needs for foundational skills instruction, is one of the parts that was really important as we planned for this, this, these revisions. We also wanted to intentionally show the phoneme graphing connections. Many of you as teachers probably do this with your teacher language anyways, talking with students when they read and write about being able to blend and segment, but we wanted to make it really intentional within our lessons. So students can apply what they're learning orally in phonemic awareness to print as it pairs alongside their phonics instruction. We also wanted to create a greater difference between each level. We wanted to provide meaningful instruction that is grade level appropriate, aligning to the standards for each grade level, because we know our preschoolers are often building that phonological sensitivity, giving them more opportunities to work with larger units of language, moving into kindergarten and then into primary. 
we didn't want to go back and start with compound words again with our primary lessons, but really moving from syllable to phoneme level very quickly is important as our students in first and second grade develop as readers. We wanted to create a more systematic sequence of instruction across each level. We also know there's a lot of teachers who are receiving the Hegarty curriculum without a lot of support behind it from professional development. And so giving accessible support with videos as well as more explicit language to equip you to teach the lessons well within your classroom so that you understand the importance of these lessons around foundational skill. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. I know that my colleagues have been answering some of your questions throughout through the Q&A. Um, microphones and cameras are off during a webinar, but I'm happy to take a few questions during our remaining time together. If your questions were not answered, you always can reach out to us and contact us at hello at hegarty.org. And as I mentioned earlier, the crosswalks and sample lesson plans and scope and sequence documents are available for download on our website at hegarty.org if you wanted to be able to access some of those things on your own. There is a couple of questions. Um, one was around thinking through the video piece. We do have literacy specialists from our team providing um, the video support um, for, our, with, for the videos that we provide with the lesson videos, as well as our on-demand professional development. And so as we um, make this, these videos available, our goal is always to provide the best form of instruction. And so we are thrilled to have um, proficient uh, deliverers of the curriculum on our team. So we're always excited to be able to have them provide that lessons or instruction. Tracy had a question about using alphabet cards. You can use any set of alphabet cards for building alphabet knowledge as you teach the Hegarty lessons. You do offer some um, support for alphabet cards in our online store, as well as some printable options, um, but you don't have to use a specific set of cards when building those um, alphabet knowledge activities. The 2022 print curriculum manuals are $89 uh, per curriculum manual. So just like before, you just need one print manual per teacher. It's not a per student um, purchase. It's something that you would be able to have one per teacher and they are available for pre-order in our online store. So Amy, the crosswalk changes that are available, if you go to hegarty.org and click on that banner at the top that says 2022, you'll be able to click on a, an option for some additional, see what's new. And that's where you'd be able to find some of the crosswalks. There's a question about where can I find those crosswalks? And that would be an option to be able to print those for each and every, um, and that's where the scope and sequence is as well. So if you go to hegarty.org and click on that banner at the top, you'd be able to access those resources. There are printable PDF files that you'd be able to download along with those sample lesson plans. As we think about our friends in Australia, we are always thrilled with the way um, the curricula has really spread uh, to other countries. And so we do offer an Australian version of the curriculum that has some specific updates and changes around spellings of words or specific sounds that are just different between American English and Australian English. And so those are, um, those are updates that are made specifically for the materials that are printed in Australia. Um, and so there are options to purchase those within Australia as well to avoid shipping and those pieces from uh, the United States. And so those are not necessarily sequential changes, it's more around individual words. So there's a question on the, around the primary curriculum with the 24 weeks um, that we have six additional weeks, 25 through 30 as options for intervention. Um, it's something that you could continue to use in smaller groups if you have students who are still struggling with specific skills or it's something you could continue. The intervention weeks in those final six weeks are around blending, segmenting and manipulating, adding, deleting and substituting. So those kind of five more complex skills that students are working with. So they could be used for whole group work if the majority of your students need the support, or they could be used in small group instruction as well. I know I wanna be mindful of your time today. So if your questions have been answered, you are welcome to log off from the webinar. We are going to have a recording of this webinar available. Like I mentioned, if you know anyone who was unable to attend live, 
Um, and please check out some of those resources we have available under on our website at hegarty.org on that 2022 banner. You'll see an option to click on what's new and be able to print some of those resources as well. You always can reach out to hello at hegarty.org. We just wanna thank you for your excitement around the curriculum. We are excited about it as well. I'm happy to stay on and answer other questions, but I know many of you are very busy. So if your questions have been answered, you're welcome to log off and thank you so much for joining. There was a question around our preschool curriculum. So there is an option as someone, you know, I, the question is around, we have both three and four year olds, which do you recommend we use? So our early pre-K curriculum, that teal book, we looked at the early learning and development standards for three and four year olds when creating those lessons. Our purple book for pre-K, we think of it as for students in their last year of preschool, preparing them to go into kindergarten. And so that's where if you're thinking about your three and four year olds, you might start with that early pre-K. It really does get to just five phonological awareness skills. We start with activities around setting the stage. What is a sound? Thinking about sounds in our environment and then sounds we hear in words. So it's a much more scaffolded approach to teaching the skills and activities. And so I would, Kristen, I would encourage you to take a look at the scope and sequence for both the EPK as well as the pre-K in order to be able to compare. But often when working with three-year-olds and even four-year-olds, we do recommend trying that early pre-K curriculum because it does introduce it in a more of a systematic way. Jen, thanks for your question around uh, creating decodables for beginning readers. The decodables projects that we have embarked on over the last year with our frog series, as well as our toucan series have been really exciting. Um, as we think to the future, we are always thinking about providing additional decodable resources for teachers within classrooms. And so this is something that I think we are always open to considering. At this time, we don't have product plans in the next, uh, in 2022 to create early decodables, but thank you for letting us know that they are um, wanted and that you would be interested. Kylie, question about the, um, the Australian version. So at this time, we haven't partnered with them, our, our Australia distributors and professional development providers um, around creating a MyHigrity platform. So I know there is the accent difference. Um, in terms of the Australian curriculum being available for the 2023 school year, I'm not sure how the pre-ordering is going to work there. We're going to partner with um, our suppliers and our partners there in order to um, figure out the timeline, uh, but it most likely wouldn't be until fall or winter of 2022 for Australia. Kristen, we are not planning to update the early pre-K curriculum because we just released that this sum last summer in 2021. It is staying as is. Uh, Marjorie and I are really excited uh, about that resource. And so the early pre-K curriculum and Bridge the Gap are staying the same. There's a question on Canadian orders. Will they be shipped in 2022 as well? They will. Um, we are, our goal is to ship starting the, the very beginning of June, 2022 for any pre-orders that have been placed. And then uh, orders obviously would be available for live order then. And that includes Canada as well as within the United States. Hilda, there was a question around TK, transitional kindergarten. Uh, you can use the purple book, that purple book for preschool for your transitional kindergarten classrooms. Um, and again, you'd be able to compare sample lesson plans for both of those um, within our sample plans to be able to see what they look, look like for both level between um, preschool as well as kindergarten. Jennifer, you do not need to purchase both. There's a question you need to post, purchase my Hegarty as well as the print book in order to use this for your instruction or for intervention. You do not. Um, our print version offers the full curriculum for your grade level. The digital version at my Hegarty platform just provides additional support between videos, as well as those the digital access to the curriculum. I know some teachers, if you're an interventionist and moving a lot or between different classrooms, that digital access can be really helpful. Um, and so that's where the MyHigrity platform can be a benefit or can definitely have an advantage over the print curriculum, but you do not have to have both in place. You can always just have one or the other.
Well, thank you again for joining us today. We really appreciate all the support that we've received from teachers and the excitement around the curriculum is something that we um, are just really excited to be able to continue to share this and be part of your classroom instruction next school year. Katie, thanks for your question about professional development. You can email pd at hegarty.org to schedule a live webinar with one of our literacy specialists. And we schedule that on a date and time that you would choose. And our webinars are based on the number of participants. They start at $750 for 90 minutes. Um, we also offer our digital versions with our on-demand professional development as well. Um, so pd at hegarty.org is the way to connect with our professional development team. Thank you so much for joining today.